Yeah, uh, folks, we've been talking to Charles Maddox, and uh, we if you want to hear the first 10 minutes of the show, we just jumped off and started name dropping on top of name dropping. If you want to go listen to that, um, you could go. But now we are uh, also on YouTube. It, it, I want to, you know, because we're going to talk about not just health and fitness. Yeah, I'm excited because I feel like you're the, the, the black version of me. <laughs> and I, I look at you and I go, oh, my God, this guy you know, he was doing one thing and he just jumped ship to do something else. Like I just mentioned on YouTube. Yeah. 300 people might watch this on YouTube. If we get lucky. Yeah. We'll get 300 people. Uh, my YouTube might have, I don't know, 12, 15,000 subscribers. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's, it's not yeah. anything significant. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed because I try to notice these things. I know, you know, you did this incredible docuseries called Reverse, and yeah. you're getting ready to do it again. And you've been, and and I want you to help me doctor this up. You've been on Dr. Oz, you've been on, um, um, uh, you name it, Snoop's friend, what's her name, um, went to jail. Martha Stewart. Yeah, only white woman that ever went to jail. Um, <laughs> so, you know, on and on and on. You've been on all of these shows. I mean, yeah. you know, your resume, your acting resume. Yeah. And... I look, you know, I looked at your your Twitter, and you yeah. had like fifteen, sixteen thousand people. Yeah, my Twitter might have. I don't know what my Twitter has. Yeah, thirty, yeah. thirty five thousand people. And here's the crazy part. Yeah, my first documentary, um, you know, fat. It's called Fat a Documentary. Yeah, it was the number one, not the one number one documentary, the number one movie that Gravitas has ever put out worldwide. Wow. Right. It beat the movie for like, I don't know, five or six weeks in a row. It beat Free Solo as the top documentary. Wow. Okay. But but that became, you know, rightly so, yeah. the documentary of the year because it stayed there for where we toppled them. Yeah. And on and on and on. We ended up doing Fat 2. That was mm -hmm. critically acclaimed even higher than Fat 1. Mm -hmm. And then just we just did Beyond Impossible. Now. Yeah. How is it that I can walk through an airport and people go, oh, my God, it's you? Yeah. Yet Twitter says, oh, no, we're, we're not shadow banning anything. I guess all you have is 30,000. And by the yeah. way, hey, Twitter, can I get a check mark? Well, we can't prove yeah. it's you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I noticed. Do you have a check mark? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm really not big in social media, to be honest with you. OK, so you're not. You see, I look at it and go, OK, I'm talking to people on social media. I'm not trying to build up these social media things, because they don't make you, as you know, they don't make any money. Yeah, yeah. They don't do anything for it. But yeah. I look at it and go, okay, I'm looking at Charles. He's put together this big deal. He's been on Oz and here and that and the whole thing. Yeah. Why does he not have 200,000 people? Yeah. Well, yeah, and I would say this. I mean, you already know the world we live in right now is just full with uh, madness and drama. So had I you know, talked crazy or, or ran around with, uh, you know, a, a prostitute or, or something of that nature, you know, that that's what people love. You know, if you look at what's, you know, what's going crazy, you know, the people who are doing some crazy things, I, right? if I was Kylie Rittenhouse, I would have half a million, you know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, we don't really follow things that, you know, are are really whether it's educational or good news, or we don't hear about people doing amazing things or changing the world, or you know, and that's one of the reasons why I love you know what I'm doing with these series because you know I, I look at it not to run on, but I kind of look at this as a, a game changer where I'm taking some of the best experts in the world and in the country and bringing them together almost like a dream team of set of them, you know, everybody's doing their own thing. So you may have this doctor doing a podcast, this expert doing a podcast, and that's great. And and they're, and and and, they're, and some of them are very successful. But to say, hey, let's come together. Um, you, you see rappers come together. You see singers come together. You right. see sports people come together. But you don't see people in the health industry coming together that could make a change and could disrupt things coming together. So I'm able to pull these people together with this 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 you know great concept that we have. Um, so you know, I, so I really focus on bringing that message and and not so much of the social media or the likes or anything like that because. You know, I don't need that. 
I need I need to be able to, of course, it does help when pulling together sponsors and so on and so forth to be able to have that, you know, that attraction. Because if you have that attraction, those sponsors now come to you instead of me beating right. and doing it every day. So that that's the only thing that, you know, it really is good for. But, um, yeah, I'm just focused on bringing the message and making change. Well, but you see, for me, I, I and I agree with what you're saying, but for me, the message, you know, we get we get knocked down a bit. Like, I'm going to tell you when I started paying attention to social media. Um, one day, someone said to me, this was several years ago, <clears throat> five, six, seven years ago, hey, you're on Wikipedia. Mm. And I went, wow. So I went to my Wikipedia, and it was everything they had written mm. about me, it was about that much of a chunk, you know, about <laughs> two inch chunk, was all absolutely correct. Like everything. They had my wow. birthday, they had everything right. Uh -huh. And I was like, how does this magic happen? Yeah. yeah. And I tooled around for like a year trying to figure out how the magic of that <laughs> happened. Uh -huh. And I, it turns out that my nephew, I was home for Christmas like about a year later. My nephew told me, he goes, I started your Wikipedia. And I said, well, now I said, man, now there's a lot of text. There, there's a yeah. bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you know. Oh, he also did this, and he worked with that. Yeah. I worked with a lot of actors, right? Uh -huh. That was my job. And and I said, did you do all that? He goes, no, I don't know who your clients are. So yeah. it all built up, and, yeah. you know, and it got bigger and bigger. Oddly enough, everything on my Wikipedia was true about me, which I was shocked by. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I never made one entry into it. Yeah. Yeah. One day it was gone, mm -hmm. like that, just gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, Malcolm Kendrick, the, fa the famous—I don't know if you know Dr. Malcolm Kendrick over in, in Europe—talks mm -hmm. about the same stuff. I, his was gone, and mm -hmm. a few other people. As a matter of fact, my wife, who's a Bond girl, and she's been in a ton of movies, mm -hmm. I was removed from hers as her husband. Mm -hmm. I was also removed. I grew up in a very small town where, very—you know—I'm from there and a few professional football players. So we were all the famous people from that small okay. town in the deep south. I was removed from that. Mm. They literally wiped me away one day from Wikipedia. Okay. So I paid someone to go find out why. Yeah. Why is something that is free? Why, why was I taken off? Mm. And it's because some vegan woman said, no, uh, you know, I, he should not be here. Wow. Because of him telling people to eat meat. Yeah, and yeah. I've petitioned Wikipedia left, right, and center, and they were like, oh, "We're good. Yeah. We don't need you." And and all that. That's what made me start looking at everything else because I want to live in a fair, just world. I think we all do. Yeah. Right. So why can't I play with the same toys everyone else gets to play with? True. True. Do you ever feel like that when we yeah. go down this road? Uh, of course, sometimes. <laughs> you know, you 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 wonder why. You know, here you are doing you know, this amazing God's work, so to speak, you know, and, you know, you, you're having to fight so hard to to get something, the message out to people um, when it should be a whole lot easier, you know. Um, so it, it is it, at times it can be very frustrating, but we just keep pushing away and try to try to find those who who want this message. You know, and, and there are millions who want this message. So l let's talk about you and that message. Yeah. Um, you uh, and I read this a few weeks ago, and I, I have somewhat of a halfway photographic memory is blurry. I'm getting yeah. old. Um, you started cooking and you were doing all this stuff and you were trying to give your kid the best nutrients you can possibly put into a kid. Yeah. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. And what happened? Um, I was, I, I had cookbooks, Vinny, I had sauces. I, I, I thought I was uh, eating healthy and then I was diagnosed with type two diabetes. And that's when it kind of was a big shock and the way I was diagnosed and the guy wanting to put me on medication. This was a weekend doctor. So I said, you know what, I want to kind of chronicle my story. And that's when it kind of escalated into me saying, hey, you know what, if I wanted to, to, to reach the people, I had to really immerse myself in this world of diabetes. And back then, it wasn't anybody who was an advocate that looked like me. 
Um, so, so it, it just, I started pushing and kicking and meeting the right folks and reaching out to some of these companies because, you know, uh, why not? And, uh, they started to, you know, uh, react and, and, uh, contacted some of the right people and was, you know, able to get some funding out of a big biopharmaceutical company that to, to start this documentary that I ended up turning into a doc, a, a docu-series that a uh, documentary called the diabetic you that we shot around the world. Um, and it just started to kind of snowball and, and, and go from there. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, that's how it got started. When you say people that look like you, are we talking specifically blacks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even yeah. now in healthcare, you know, there, there aren't many real advocates that are black that actually have a, a, a name or a face, you know, you can't, you know, that isn't paid by a pharmaceutical company. Right. So, yeah. you know, I can't I can't name one that's just doing it on his own that you could say, hey, you know what, man, that's the that's the face of diabetes or that's the face of sickle cell or that's the face of uh, cancer. You know, it's it's unless they're paid by a pharmaceutical company, um, that's the only time they have uh, uh, a presence. I mean, you know, it's hard being an advocate and trying to make that your job and and survive unless you are being paid by a pharmaceutical company. No, it's, it's it's damn near impossible, and and kudos yeah. to you. Um, I you know I I um, I want to say it was several seven six seven years ago, I got called in by this famous rapper, mm. and um, he you know same problem, mm -hmm. type two diabetes. The guy looked amazing, mm -hmm. right? I, it, the whole deal. Doctor says you got to do something. His girlfriend gets on the horn, she knows about me through another celebrity. And she goes, you need to come over to the house, mm -hmm. right? And I go over there. And it was day one, we went through the pantries. Mm -hmm. This guy, this guy had pantries, mm -hmm. he had the one. And he was a lover of barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, never, I didn't know they made that many barbecues. So apparently, mm -hmm. whenever he did concerts, they people say, Hey, try our he had closets full of barbecues. It was almost oh. like he was crying. It, I was like, we didn't have trash bags. We had the big outdoor garbage bags, like the ones, we, you know, the big hefty bag. We're filling that up with just mm. junk on top of junk, hundreds of bottles of barbecue sauce, cereals. He had cereals I didn't know existed. Yeah. yeah. And this man lived on this shit most of his life because oh. he came from the hood. He came, poor mom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no dad. You didn't know from eating meat or anything else. He got rich and famous. He yeah. didn't change his diet. He yeah. just changed yeah. his address. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. The diet came with him. Yeah, yeah. And here he is, rich and famous and dying. Mm. And so he, you know, we, we fill up, we fill up, we fill up. And like now we have the back of his um his SUV and everything, the big, the big bourbon mm -hmm. seats down filled with food mm -hmm. and um he goes he directs one of his guys he goes all right man we're gonna, we're gonna take that down the hood we're gonna give this stuff to the hood you know he's doing the, the dialect and all thing yeah and yeah like, oh whoa 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 <laughs> what are you doing yeah you know, people can eat this stuff i said okay i said let's let's think through this for a second mm-hmm you're not going to eat this because you don't want to remain sick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're going to take this to the hood. Yeah. What did they do to you? Except yeah. buy your albums. True. True. You know? And he thought about it for a second. And then he told his guy, he goes, all right, throw all that shit away. Mm -hmm. And then we're going out. We're going on the shopping spree. And we're going to buy healthy stuff for the people. And he took me on the shopping spree. Wow. Because he wanted to know what the people in the hood should eat. Wow. You see right? that? So you see, he, you know, he was doing a virtuous thing. Yeah. But it wasn't, it, he was giving him more shit. Yeah. 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 And as, as he put it, we might get one person out of everyone who gets all of this new food. One yeah. person might change. Yeah. And yeah. I said, what do you think of that? He goes, it's something. It's something. You know? yeah. And that's the only way you could put that. And, you know, my thing with the black community is I grew up in a black community, Southern wow. Louisiana. Wow. Okay. And so all of my friends were eating crap. Yeah. 
<laughs> we were the Italians in the neighborhood. We grew gardens and we did all this shit. Yeah. We had fresh food. I'd, I'd go deer hunting and everything else. We we had cows and everything. Mm -hmm. A lot of these kids were eating shit. Yeah. Were eating yeah. crap. That's why I've always had a special place in, in my heart for what's going on because you go down to Southern Mississippi now. Yeah. You go down to Louisiana where I grew up. Yeah. It is not pretty. It yeah. is not fucking pretty at all. Yeah. These poor girls and guys, they're wider than they are tall. Yeah. Yeah. They're walking down the street with a big gulp hanging out of their mouth or eating chips or whatever. Because yeah. as Gary Taub said in one of his books, I can't remember which one. Mm -hmm. They're morbidly obese, but their yeah. brain thinks they're starving. They the yeah. brain is getting the wrong message. Yeah. What yeah. say? Yeah, uh, you, you're totally right. And you know, right now, you know, it, it, just to share, I'm I'm actually shooting a documentary mm -hmm. that's uh, sponsored by Dexcom, who makes the CGMs, and it's called "Our um, Our Bodies Our Temple." And I'm going across the country <laughs> to examine the the disparities in the black community, but also in the black church. And the role that the church could actually potentially play in the health of its of its members. So yeah, we are hitting some of these southern places. And you're right; it's 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 you know we are eating food that just is not good for us. Consuming it, you know, uh, by the by the 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 the, the pounds. And it's it's killing us. And you know, we all know what that stuff does to us. And it's 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 really about trying to expose this and and hopefully let people see that there are other options and um, really you know how we can make some change and uh, it's a sad state of affairs just in general per se even around the country whether black or white is that you know we we are inundated by you know this programming of you know the the the, the cappuccino with this on top and the syrup and that and 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 the other day I was at a gas station I'm looking. And of course, I practice carnivore and uh, I'm looking at as I'm pumping gas, I see the commercial for some sort of drink cappuccino with the whipped cream and the, the syrup on it. And I, and I almost looked for a second. I thought, man, it, that actually looks good. You know, you, you kind of you're like, man, if I wasn't what I was, I would have ran in there and got some of this pure sugar. So, you know, it, it, the programming is is what it is. And, and we have to really just come together to figure out how we can change this. Yeah, look, I, I tell folks all the time, a gas station, gas is a loss leader. Yeah, They're making pennies per gallon. Th those folks that own the gas stations are not making money on gas. Yeah. You're right. They need right. to get your ass to walk into that store. You're right. Um, uh, you're not I'm, I'm, I'm almost 60. You, you can't even be 50 yet. How old are you? Yeah, I'm I'm close to 50. Okay, so you remember a life where if you walked into a gas station and said, hey, do you have a bathroom? It's like, no, no bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or a bathroom outside around the corner. He, yeah. Here's the key hanging off of something that long so that you don't lose it. <laughs> you know, now, if you notice, everybody has a big, you know, screen at the pump. Going, yeah. Hey, you need refreshments? When yeah. you're done pumping, come on in. We got refreshments. Yeah. Everyone has a bathroom inside the place. Yep. You have to yep. walk past racks. See, people will go, well, how do you think of that? It's like, because it wasn't that long ago when it was like, no bathroom, no yeah. bathroom. Go pee outside if you want to pee. Or, right. you know, now everyone has got a bathroom inside. You go yep. to Sheets, you go to Wawa, you go to uh, Flying J, you go yep. to any uh, anybody that's selling gas. Yep. It's come on in. We have air conditioner. You can take yep. a dump. We don't care. <laughs> do what you need to do. Just we need you in here. We need you to go right past that rack yep. of, of of crap, of, of seed course. oils and sugar and everything that made Charles Maddox uh, 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 type 2 diabetic. We need yep. you guys to, to be just like Charles. But right. don't worry. Don't worry. Once you become type 2 diabetic, our friends over at the drug companies, they got yep. something called metformin yep. and Ozempic and Jordians. Yeah. And guess what? When you take those things, yeah. they don't heal you. Yeah. They keep you perfectly sick. What say you? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a it's a band-aid on a bullet wound. And uh and you're right. You're gonna pass by everything in that store, whether it's going in or going out. And and if you look at Wawa now, they're making sandwiches, they're making all kind of 
you know, fancy things in there. So you can get that in a, in a bag of chips on the way out and a nice uh, uh, soda on the way out. So, so, so you're right about that. And, 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 uh, and once again, uh, that we know that drug companies love keeping us sick um, and uh, we are falling right into it. That's the sad thing. Vinny. We are falling right into it. You know what I got out of that? Yeah. Band-Aid on a bullet wound. I, I love the alliteration of that. I've always had Band-Aid on a broken leg, but I'm changing it to yours. <laughs> um, I just stole that. Uh, uh, are, are you familiar with Dr. Uh, Tony Hampton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony's going to be on our series too as well. Good, good, good. Yeah. Because when I did my uh, third documentary, uh, Beyond Impossible, mm -hmm. I, I, I told everyone, all of my people, I said, look, I'm not doing this without Tony Hampton. Yeah, because yeah. um, I, I didn't have him for the first one. And of course, the second one was just a continuation of the first one. Mm -hmm. And he was the one guy I wanted to have in the first one. And we couldn't get him anywhere where we could shoot him. Mm -hmm. And um, when I did Beyond Impossible, I said, I don't care what happens. Tony's yeah. in this movie because yeah. what that guy is doing over in, in, in Chicago is yeah. beyond beyond. Yeah. And yeah. there's not many black doctors talking and, and not just black doctors talking but in the community that that's the part people leave out yeah. in the community um i know the southern churches are really big about getting the community to do what they want them to do politics yeah. what have you is yeah. it like that outside of the south or do you know um yeah i mean they're, they're, as far as politics and so on and so forth once again i don't think the health ministry is 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 where it needs to be and and um you know, it, it's, 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 it's interesting. It, we, we were shooting and I'm not going to say where we were, but, um, you know, we, we, we were talking about the health ministry and the education and it was a black church. And, um, and, uh, during the weekend they had some kind of like fear. And of course, during the fear, it was all the, the bad food and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, it, it and, and I guess, I guess it's hard to make those changes. I guess if they had fruit and vegetables per se, I'm just saying fruit and vegetables, um, you know, folks really wouldn't, you know, be, be uh, lined up for that. So they had to have the Frankfurters and, and the beans and the macaroni and the cheese, you know, all that kind of stuff like that. So it's, it's really not only just having a, 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 a per se, a health ministry, but, but, but an active participation in, in the health ministry. You know, you can't have a health ministry in the past that's 350 pounds. You know, it it it's really not adding up. So, you know, the people in church are not really going to get that that motivation. If the pastor, you know, if you got TD Jakes who's 400 pounds, 350 pounds, you know, how can you have a, a, a thriving health ministry um in the black church? So it, it's really about trying to educate them. And because once again, you know, they should want to keep their their members alive and happy and healthy um, because then they can continue putting putting money in the, in, in the bin. But, uh, you know, if they're sick and can't make it to the congregation and so on and so forth, paying for hospital bills and so on and so forth, then, you know, they, they, every, everybody loses in that scenario, you know? Right. Um, I, I want to get into more of this, but first I got to do a quick ad. Folks, yeah. you know what to do. We... Um, we we all need olive oil in our life. It, we just do. It's probably one people always say, on, which supplement should I be on? And I'll say olive oil. I'll say, yeah, yeah, but what's up? I just told you the supplement you should be on is olive oil. Okay. Now, here's the deal. Our government, and I know it's wonderful, whether you're ro right, left, or in the center, it doesn't matter because it's all the same. They allow these companies to cut olive oil up to 40% and still call it first press, mm. urgent. Uh, it's so fresh that the olive doesn't even know the oil is missing. Yeah, they can put all this stuff on the 40% can be cut up to 40%. And then now they have to put a perfume in it to make it even smell like olive oil. And they have to they have to color it again to make it look like olive oil. Folks, these are seed oils. These are inflammatory. These are killing you. They're killing you. Guess who doesn't do that? Villa Capelli. Villa Capelli Olive Oil is the longest running sponsor of the show. They've been with us for about 10 years. Um, I can't say enough about this company. Paul Capelli, he and his husband, Stephen Crutchfield, started this over in Italy. They started shipping to the United States. We've been talking about them ever since. They will run out of oil. 
Don't mess around. Get the three liter ten. When you buy mm. more oil, you actually get a better price. Mm. And if you really want to save some money, put in promo code Vinny V I N N I E for ten percent off. Vinny V I N N I E every single time at Villa Capelli. People always show me their pictures on Twitter and Instagram and everywhere else with their Villa Capelli cans. <clears throat> Make sure you get some of that. Uh, Villa Capelli, we love them here. You're going to love them where you are. We're talking to Mr. Charles Maddox, who is doing great work, particularly in the black community. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up something. Uh, maybe I should have asked you this off the air. Um, Lizzo. Hmm. Lizzo, yeah, uh, very talented woman, mm. beautiful woman. Yeah, um, she's speaking to a generation, mm. and she's she's got the numbers, man. She she is speaking to a generation. Yeah, um, my buddy works for the music company that you know has all of her stuff, and he talks about how big she is and how wonderful she is, and I've heard her stuff. She's great, mm -hmm. but. The message of yeah. I'm big, I'm beautiful. Mm. Okay. She's not ugly. She's mm. not. Mm -hmm. Right. But I don't care about Lizzo's outsides. Yeah. I care about her insides. Yeah. And as I tell everyone, they go, What about Lizzo? And I'll go, Well, just like every other fat man or woman, yeah. Lizzo has problems that's going to cause her life to be short. And yeah. on the way to that short life, She's going to be miserable. There's yeah. going to be complications. Yeah. And I'm not sure we should be celebrating that. Any yeah. thoughts? You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I actually uh, unfollowed Lizzo um, on a few, on a few, for, for a few reasons. I, I, I don't care, but I don't care for some of her messaging as far as the nakedness and the, and the shape and the twerking and all that kind of stuff like that. And then also, I, I think her message as far as health is very confusing because, you know, sometimes she's trying to lose weight and other times it almost seems like she just has said, you know what, um, I am what I am and this is what it's going to be. But then you go back to trying to lose weight and exercising and so on and so forth. So I am a little confused about the messaging. And, and you're right. I just looked up her age. She's 34. Now, Vinny, we, me and you both know 21 25, 30, 35, man, life is fantastic. You, you, you don't think about what you're eating. You don't think, but, but, but hit 40, hit 43, 44, 45. And now these issues that we took for granted back in the days are now catching up to us, right? Now, I remember when I was starting off in the music industry, I used to go to, uh, to the Bronx, from Long Island to the Bronx, to go work on on music and probably was you know 17 and uh our producer a well-known producer would say hey you know we had no money so he'd say come and just bring me a pizza pie and a coke yeah. so i remember eating this pizza pie and putting a ton of salt on this thing and he never ever not once did i think of anything about high blood pressure not right. once did i ever think about you know uh, uh, uh diabetes and now you look back and you're like, man, if I could talk to my old self back then, what I wouldn't have done to started this journey off a different way and have continued over the years, you know, knowledgeable about about health. So I think that at 34, you know, and, and you know, if I have an extra five, 10 pounds on me, man, I feel horrible, yeah. let alone. 30 or 40 or 50 extra pounds on me. Yeah. So I think that, you know, there's no way that, you know, she can be feeling as comfortable uh, as she should um, just from a movement standpoint, you know, when, when you, when those bones start aching real soon, when, when the back starts hurting and knees start hurting, when, you know, potentially other issues is diabetes and hypertension and all this stuff like that. And whatever else may come, uh, leaky gut, whatever it is, uh, comes, you know, now you're starting to look at situations where you're like, okay, you know, that wasn't the best role model for, for us as people. Right. And, you know, like people have said to me, what, you know, what would you say to Lizzo? And I would say to her, I, I would train you and help you for free. Yeah. Anyway, a woman with all that money. Yes. Yeah. I, if, if Lizzo, if her people came to me and look, you know, hundreds of thousands of people are going to hear this podcast. Yeah. 
anyone can get to Lizzo's people. Yeah. I will help her for free. And you will go, geez, Vinny, what do you get out of that? A lot. Yeah. Um, I, I'm doing this for free. And yeah. by the way, I, by the way, I'll never, I'll never make an issue. I'll never say, Hey, I'm working with Lizzo. I've yeah. worked with the biggest names in the industry. The yeah. only people anyone know about is Margaret Cho and Howie Mandel, two comedians. Yeah. Maybe three or four, a few other ones made it to my Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Most of my clientele, no one ever knew about because I never talked about them. They knew about Margaret Cho because she mentioned my name on a Tonight Show and on David Letterman. They mm -hmm. know about Howie Mandel because he and I became best friends. Yeah. yeah. Right? But they don't know about everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't need to know about everyone. I yeah. would never tell anyone I'm working with Lizzo, but if I can give Lizzo and they will go, why would you do it for free? Yeah. I'm doing this podcast for free. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I do five shows a week. We've yeah. done almost 2,200 shows now. I'm always out there. I go on Mike Rose show. I go on Adam Carolla show. I do all these shows for free. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't, I, I just go. So why wouldn't I help one of the biggest yeah. stars in the world yeah. for free? Yeah. And then when she loses the weight and feels better and looks better, guess what? Everyone's going, hey, hey, Lizzo, how did you do it? Yeah. People magazine online. How would you, how did you do it? Everyone's yeah. going to want to, how did you do it? Right. Yeah. She never has to mention my name. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Never has to, but look what she can do for the world. Yeah. You're right. She doesn't even know what she could do for the world. She could like Bob Hope used to go and, and, and work with, with, um, uh, you know, and do these USO shows and everything else. He yeah. was helping these soldiers. Yeah. yeah. Lizzo right. can do that yeah. for an entire community. One person. Yeah. Agree or disagree? I mean, you're saying, yep, yep. yep. Agree, right? I mean, she Older. would be the Older. one that could change the black community. 150%. 150%. I'd love to work with it myself. Trust yeah. me. Look, if, if you get a whole tour, let me yeah. know. We can quietly together go because that's what you and I were talking about off the air. Yeah. You know, you by yourself, you're one thing. Me by myself, I'm another thing. I, 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 Nina Taisho, she by, you know, but when we all come together, yeah. When we all come together, that's when it becomes boom. You know, you mm -hmm. pull, you know, Ken Barry in, you pull this one, you pull Maria yeah. Emmerich, you pull them all together. Yeah. Right. Boom. Now we can do something. Now we can change. Right. You know, Nina and I have sat over a drink and going, to, you know, do you think we're doing anything? <laughs> and, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And then, yeah. you know, we'll sit there and, you know, two drinks in, we'll sit there and go, oh, God. Yeah. I don't know if we're doing any good. I don't yeah. know. And, and we'll get depressed. Yeah. She she had a number one bestseller. I did. You know, we did something. Yeah. Right. And And when I started doing this, the word keto didn't exist. Yeah. I was yeah. calling it low carb 10 years ago. Yeah. I was scared to use the word ketogenic. Yeah. Scared yeah. because doctors were ketoacidosis. Yeah. Yeah. Is he crazy. Yeah. Right? right. So how did you find your way when your doctor says you have type two diabetes, you, you thought you were eating correctly. Yeah. How did you find all the low carb? Did you just Google? Or, I mean, what happens? Um, well, back then, and it was probably yeah, about 12 years ago, um, 13 years ago. And um, I went online and that was a daunting task um, back mm. then. And uh, I said, you know, I'm not messing around with these folks. Um, and I just said, you know, well, what was the best diet? So I said, you know, what, let's say God's diet. So I, I knew that eating uh, healthy, lean vegetables, uh, a, a healthy, lean meat, vegetable, drinking water, um, and all of that was, and then ex, and then my exercise, I was hitting the gym a lot, Penny, and it was more bulking up, did no cardio. So I said, I'm, I'm done with the gym. I'm just going to walk and, and, and jog, um, stay with water. I was, you know, and then just lean meat and, and, um, and some vegetables and some fruit. Um, and man, I lost like 20 pounds in 30 days and, and it, it was, the rest was history. And so over the years, it's been, a, it's been a journey because I didn't know about keto until a couple of years ago, ago myself, when we did the first series with Ken and Maria and Dr. Jason Fung and so on and so forth. We shot that in, um, in Costa Rica, uh, two years ago and, um, tr it was tremendous. And then as that kind of, you know, changed and I started learning about carnivore, which I'm I'm excited about this series because we're doing a new series with uh, Carnivore in, in November, 
And um, and but the thing is, is that I was getting bits and pieces of 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 carnivore and I didn't understand it. So one of the things that I think is really powerful about this series, whether it's keto, carnivore, low carb, is that we're able to take the best minds in the country, bring people who want to make a change, have them stay there for a week and get, go through the A's to the Z's of why this is important, why it's beneficial, understanding how it affects the the the, the body, understanding how it affects uh, uh, blood sugar, you know, cardi uh, uh, cardiology, uh, understanding the, the the cholesterol thing of uh, un, you know, uh, understanding it all, understanding how to cook it, you know, why it makes sense. So I think if you do it that way, now we've got something that. People could sit down and say, you know what, man, I'm interested in in keto. I'm interested in carnivore. Let me watch number one how this how this works, and even the results, and if it's good for me. And you know, they could adapt it however they want to. And nobody said you have to do it this way. Nobody said you have to be keto forever, or carnivore forever. Uh, but you know that one thing we need to do is stay away from the carbs and the starch and the sugars. Where where can people find your first docu series? Uh, yeah, it's all over. It's uh, it's on glue.tv. Uh, it's on um, Pluto. Um, uh, and it's also on my own network, which is Bloom uh, Wellness Channel. Um, and that's on everything from Roku to Apple TV and, and you name it. So um, it's it was aired on Discovery initially. Um, Cox as well, Nationwide. Um, PBS actually aired it too as well. So it's all over the place, but uh, you can definitely find it. Yeah, you know, um, when I did the first movie, um, we we could have sold it to Hulu or Netflix. Yeah. And um, when Gravitas Ventures is the people that, that distributes my movies. And um, and I was an, an unknown entity. And um, they called me and said, hey, you know, Netflix is bidding for it. And I was like, no. And they said, mm -hmm. I, we don't think you, you heard what we were saying. Mm -hmm. Netflix mm -hmm. is going to write a check. Yeah. And yeah. I said, uh, yeah. no. And they said, okay, we're going we're gonna to say this really slowly. <laughs> Netflix. Yeah. yeah. And I said, no. Yeah. And they said, why? Yeah. And I said, because, and this was a couple of years after my, um, my Wikipedia was taken down. Yeah. I said, Netflix can write me a whopping check. They yeah. said, that's right. I said, and Netflix has a lot of money. Yeah. They said, that's right. I said, so after they write me that whopping check, they can never, they, they don't have to yeah. ever put <laughs> they anything don't, they, up. They don't have to air it. Yep. <laughs> they could just, if there's one vegan there who hates me, yeah, yeah. make sure that thing is never seen. Exactly. exactly. And they said, that's, that's right. I said, Netflix can never have it. I said, yeah. now, if we sell it to everyone else and then Netflix wants to buy it for cheaper later, we'll do that. Exactly. But exactly. no exclusive. I don't want an exclusive with them, Hulu, anyone. No, no, me neither. No one. Yeah. Me and neither. they said, okay. And that's when they, um, you know, it, mine ended up going around the world. And, uh, you know, people would write to me from Malaysian Airlines. Oh, my God, I'm on Malaysian Airlines. And you're on mm -hmm. the thing, you know, and the whole thing. That's what I wanted. And it seems exactly. like you're going down that same road because exactly. you sell it to Netflix or Hulu or whoever. Yeah. They could just go screw you. Yeah, of course. No, no, I, I I love it this way. While it's a little harder, Vinny, there's nothing like having control and ownership of your own uh, your own property. Right. And I kind of followed behind the 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 Tyler Perry idea of doing things. Oh yeah. And, you know, and and that's what made him so successful today. So I know we're going down the right road. And uh, we're staying busy. So we're, we're OK in this great space. You know, whether I'm bringing in 100 million or, or whatever it may be, uh, you know, we only need enough to be happy. And, yeah. and we're good right now. So so, you know, we know that if we keep doing what we're doing. We're going to we're going to get to that sweet spot eventually and, and, and have something that uh, is going to be a game changer. And, and matter of fact, Vinny, I, as we're talking here. Um, and like I said, I am familiar with 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 your work as far as the, the docs. I have something that I, I definitely want to run by you that I, I know is a game changer. Um, the, the producers of Oz wanted it um, uh, uh, and some other some other folks wanted to to be involved. But I, I, I didn't move with them because it's it's such 
a game changer, Vinny. When I tell you this, this series can be uh, change the world. So I definitely want to talk off here on that. Oh, I, absolutely. I'm I'm always ears for anyone and everyone who wants to discuss anything. Yeah. Um, you know, we do, you and I, from what I can tell, we do one thing a little different. I'm wondering about your experience of this. I got lucky on my first movie. I, I crowdfunded it and did it on a, just a shoestring. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we got, um, can't remember. We were trying to get 150. We were trying to get 150,000. Mm -hmm. We got 200,000 or just over two. And then I ended up having to put some of my own money in to finish it. Yep, yep. But then it became a big deal. So all that money came back plus, plus, plus. Now I had house money to play with. Yep, yep. And that's how I did the second one. And then I had house money to do the third one. Mm -hmm. So I've never had to answer to anyone. Mm -hmm. when you go out and get sponsorship. Do they say anything to you? Like, hey, you know, we want to do this, that, or the other thing. Do they try to control any of that? No, no, no. I, I've been fortunate. And the thing is, is that a lot of these companies are so big, Vinny, that the money that they give you is 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 play money. They don't even think that literally they will write a check and you won't even hear from them right. because, you know, if their budget is a hundred million, I'm just throwing out a number. If their budget is a hundred million dollars and they gave you a million, they're not thinking about that. They're not even thinking about it, you know, so. Right. You know, and and if if they know you do good work and you make sure that you keep them updated and make sure you're doing your end, um, they know you're going to deliver a great product and and they're going to get the bang for the buck that they expect. And and a lot of times, when when they have that type of money, there's not anything that you could really do for them that you know you're not going to go get a million dollars from let's say uh, whatever company it is and you're going to all of a sudden increase their sales and that you right. know they're making you know uh, tens of millions of dollars so they just want to get the message out you've got a good product so I kind of think of myself as uh, Robin Hood you know so right. at times I will work with companies because I know hey you know what I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this company and get where I gotta go um, yeah. and, and 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 I'm not a fan of them and I, I'll say it publicly but you know, if they've got what I can do to 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 to, to further the to further the message, that I'm going to use that to further the message. Right. No, I, I I totally get that. I've just done it. I've always done it a little different because I, my thing is I don't even know how to go find the. You know, it's like I don't want to yeah. go out there and beg. And and <laughs> when we crowdfunded that first thing and people came up with that money, I was like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, because I didn't think we were going to get it when when Peter Pardini said. Why don't you crowdfund it? I said, who's going to give me money? And he goes, yeah. your fans. And I'm like, no, they're not. And he goes, yeah. oh, yes, they will. Yeah. I had no idea that I had that kind of power to get that much money. Yeah. Right. And then I felt this this obligation to finish it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because if you read the contracts on crowdfunding, you know, I could have taken the 200000 Yeah. And ran off. Yeah. Go yeah. on vacation. I didn't owe them anything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I did just the opposite. So I was always wondering what it's like when you when you're in, in business with someone else, how that works. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just something I've never done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, your experience with people like Oz, good, yeah. bad, otherwise? Great. You know, I mean, honestly, I have nothing bad to say. If I don't know him like that. You know, obviously I did a show and and yeah, you know, he was nice to me. Uh, you know, I've yeah. done I've done CNN twice. I've done the Today Show twice. Um, you know, every everybody was uh was 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 uh was very nice. I can't complain. You know, good, good, good. Uh, anything else we need to tell the audience before I let you go? <laughs> um, just that you know, obviously your audience is is similar to to mine as far as health. I'm excited about this new series. Um. You know, anybody who is in the carnivore space, you know, feel free to reach out. We're, uh, we're pretty much crewed up as far as the experts. We've got everyone, like I said, from Maria Emmerich, Ken Berry, Tony Hampton, Dr. Ovedia, um, uh, Kelly Hogan, Anthony Chafee, uh, uh, you you name it. Uh, it, it, it we, we've got uh, even Sean uh, Baker. I mean, Sean, um, Sean Baker is mm -hmm. going to do a little cameo. Um, so we've got the best of the best in the space um, and always looking for, for great people to be involved with not only this season, but 
you know, whether it's another season of keto, another season of carnivore, um, let's continue. Let's, let's, let's build sure. something that could shake up the healthcare industry instead of, uh, I like to say, being beggars in the marketplace. Let's, let's be masters and really come together because there's too many, too many amazing people who could be coming together to put out a, a, a stronger message. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that we can do that. Yeah, and, and you are doing it. And some of the people you just mentioned, I was with uh, Phil Avania two weeks ago, we, we did a yeah. talk together in the mountains. And, uh, and right before that, um, I was with uh, Anthony Chaffee over at yeah. uh, Keto. I love those guys. I love <laughs> hanging with those guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. funny. I saw Maria across the room, but I could never get to her because people, <laughs> hey, so another, so, so, so you yeah, never, yeah, you never yeah. get there. Um, yeah. Folks, over at uh, NSNG Foods, we have the ultra fat. <clears throat> I shouldn't be doing this, but I will. It's back to school. 20% off over at NSNG Foods. Stock up on ultra fat. Even if you have a subscription, uh, you can get 20% off by putting my name in, Vinny, V I N N I E, 20% off. It's a one time deal. You can cheat that, you know, let's say um, Charles over there puts his his name in and, and goes through his computer, he can get 20% off. And then two weeks later, he realizes he didn't buy enough. Mm -hmm. Get a secretary, hey, honey, just go over there and you know, do that for me and do it that way. So go get all the ultra fat you want. We have a ton of it in stock, 20% off, promo code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. Uh, go check out everything Charles Maddox is doing. He just told you where he is, what's he, what he's doing, and where you can find him. So go do it. What's the name of your own company that they could go? Uh, Bella, B-E-L-L-A and uh, L-E-E-L-L-E -L -L -E media uh, dot com. And, you know, you could just Google me, Charles Maddox, uh, M-A-T-T-O-C-K-S. It's easy to find me. I'm all over the place. So it's not, you know, it's not uh, that's even my email, Charles at Charles Maddox dot com. So if somebody wants to reach out and talk and chat and see how we can change the world together. Let's let's do it. You got it, folks. You know what to do. We all go shopping on Amazon. Before you go to Amazon, go to VinnyTartarus.com. Click through the banner. It puts a little coal on the fire, and it gets my train down the track. On behalf of Charles Maddox, my name yeah. is Vinny Tartarich. Put life into living and do it with enthusiasm.